Good morning, everyone. Today we gather in joy to celebrate the holiest and most wonderful of days, Easter Sunday. Jesus, who sacrificed his life on behalf of all of us, has been raised from the dead. Alleluia. This is the day that gives meaning to Jesus' suffering and death, and in turn, to our own. Suffering and death are not the end. Jesus has led the way to his Father for all eternity. How appropriate that we gather today for the Holy Eucharist. In the Holy Eucharist, we give thanks to the Lord for the ultimate sacrifice he made for our sins. In the Holy Eucharist, we receive his body and blood, more closely uniting us with him, now and eternally. Let us celebrate the Holy Eucharist on this blessed day as we are reborn in the Lord. Please join in our entrance hymn number 457, Jesus Christ is risen today, number 457. Please stand. and we pray for Saint Pritt and her birthday. 
Um, and uh, Peggy Roosevelt, let's acknowledge your failures and our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate this in the next place. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, that Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy.
when we witness of all, we are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man, God, raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us. The witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he, that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
according to John. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning, while it was still dark, and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter, and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved, and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we do not know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran. But the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloths there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloths there, and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ. As your priest, I'm so happy to, so, to see so many of you came in the first, the very important day of our faith, the faith of the day of resurrection. It's not a secret that I like when people dressed up. And uh, it's, I grew up in a culture when dress was always a sign of respect. So you don't have to say the words if you, if you come with the flip flops, you know, I'm, just, you know, I'm not gonna go there because it's Easter. And uh, the Easter day was the preparation, 40 days. I believe all of us, we went through preparation. For me, I was so excited, my first one, when I was studying when I was 16, to get my first driver license. I remember I memorized, you know, the, you know the, all the answers, questions, answers, and you know, and I was like, you know, and plus there was also um, not only, um, uh, the, the theoretical, but also how to write. You know, I had no problem to write uh, uh, the car because I was, it's already history, so you cannot. I think when the, the time when I can reach the battles, that's how I was driving. My mom was saying, I'm not gonna pay any, you know. She was always, dad says like, there's no police in the area. So he let me <laughs> drive, you know. And I remember the, the, the funny thing was, I like also take the motorcycle test. And the test was, the road was very, very narrow. So you have to go and you have to make back and you have to make the A, number eight. And, uh, and I, I was trying to make so perfect that I was, I was like, and dad said, stop, because it's too much. And afterwards, he was right. I passed and the happiness. You know, I don't know, there was the, the board exam, whatever, you know, that you were studying, you were not even going to sleep. So that was the preparation and the happiness. So if you took seriously the lamp, when you abstain, then I cannot tell you, but at things, that's what, is, that's what it brings happiness. But can be like one another, you know, what kills us is the same and the same and the same. Routines. So um, some of us, I, I, I can see that are excited. And, and uh, this morning, uh, I was sitting in a, in a confessional, you know, in that little confessional, not the here because the door, has a little uh, window. So, you know, I don't have much people for confession because that parish, it's, it's sinless. You know, and they, they don't have a sin. So, you know, praying and I, I, I'm observant. So I was watching people and I can only see this part in shoes. And I can see Gucci one, I know, I don't know about it, you know. I see some shiny one, I see the heels, I see the sparking one, I saw pink one, and uh, I'm thinking like, gosh. And I see, saw the Nike one, and I, you know, saw like running shoes, you know. And I'm thinking, my job is like being at shoes. 
The shoes, what's the job of the shoe? The shoes the first, you know, protect you from cold, from weather, from... But at the same time, makes you happy, bring you somewhere. And my job is, as a priest, to bring you closer to Jesus Christ. And that's what today is the feast. The feast of resurrection. But there is no resurrection without Good Friday and without Holy Thursday. There is no resurrection without Christmas. Do you remember how many flowers we had in Christmas? So what is more important, Christmas or resurrection? Do you know how many cards I got for Christmas? And I know how many cards I got for the Easter? Three. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but we sometimes, you know, we were like, we're like, yeah, but, you know, why? Oh, because we like baby Jesus, because it's so cute, you know, we just like, <laughs> and this one, when you went and he started washing the feet, and he's telling, some of you betrayed me, and all of them says, it's not me, Lord, you know, all of them, then we were like candidates. And uh, when he says, I'm going to suffer, who likes suffer? Raise your hand. Yep, we don't want to suffer. We want to have a long and wonderful life. And that's what he says, I have to suffer. 370 cuts on his body. 60 thorns on his face. They make not like, you know, we think that we... That was like, yeah, we have 120 sensitive, you know, nerves in our, our head. So can you imagine after that, and they were beating him. And that's what he's saying, and he's showing that when you go through that, and if you have a hope, that's what he was saying. I have to go through, but on the third day, I gonna be resurrected. So today, Mary of Magdala, she went to looking for his dead body. There, yesterday, last night, we were reading the women that went to that, and they were thinking, like, who is going to move that stone? Two tons. I don't know if how many is it, pounds or whatever, you know, because I grew up in metric stuff. It's a heavy one. Who is going to? And, and of course, if you remember, they say, the high priest said, um, can you, do you mind to put the guards? Because he was saying something that he gonna, you know, I think that the, the, the disciples were gonna come and steal his body and they're gonna tell that he's resurrected. Yeah, right, you know what they were doing. Crapping, you know what, you <laughs> know, when he was, uh, so, and uh, so you go and you have a soldiers who just say, hi, come out, come closer, I kill you. That was their answer, the Roman soldiers. There was no way. So, in today's gospel, John's gospel, Mary of Magdala, who loved Jesus, because she was the one who he saved her. The Mary of Magdala, who loved him so much, they would follow him everywhere. You know, remember chosen? She would remember everything. So, she's going and she's running and telling there is no, somebody took the body of Jesus Christ. So instead of Peter, he's like, come on, don't you remember? He said, typical man, don't remember anything. <laughs> but, you know, I don't blame. We don't remember what happened yesterday. But Mary of Magdala, you women, you remember everything. Husband, if you don't remember, yes, yeah, right. Yeah, you do remember. <laughs> the good things, and then other lots of good things. And what is happening? She, because she's telling them, so they are running. I have, I have a picture, I have a beautiful picture on my wall, two guys running. One is younger and one is older. The older is running, it looks like he's, he's, like he's getting tired, but it's not tiredness. It's the fears in his eyes. What's gonna happen if he's alive? I'm gonna face him. Remember when we did something? And mom says, come closer, look in my eyes. <laughs> yep. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's the end of the world. She knows everything. So, and the younger one, 
because he loved Jesus. He's writing and like, I, I think, you know, young people think different. Don't you know? Your kids are they saying different. You were saying sometimes they look like, yeah, right. <laughs> you don't even say it, they don't even say it, but you know it. You know, like, sure. So, and of course, Peter, you know, is like slowly by slowly. Then John is running. But with the, because he has respect. That's what I'm telling you. Teach your children respect to others. They're going to respect you. They're going to li they listen what you say and how you say about your neighbor, about grandma, about your mother-in-law. They're listening everything. They're even better than mom and, you know, because the kids, I don't know, we remember everything. Sometimes dad was trying to see, tell a story. He says, dad, the first time that was not like you said. Yeah, because they are, they are fresh. They're young brain. So that's what you teach respect. If you teach respect, you don't have to be worried. I remember my dad, there was no way. You know, sometimes we were doing something and the neighbor was going in a bicycle. And that's just like, what happened? I'm like, what? Why didn't you say good morning? Oh, what? Yes, this man was going. Your job is to say good morning, Mr. So-and-so. So the next time, you know, we were brothers and I, who's going to go first? You know, we're like, good morning, Mr. Kowalski. And they're like, good morning. What's wrong with that? <laughs> yep. Yep, that's what is. That's what how we are witnesses. So of course, John is waiting. Peter came. Peter, as the first one, he goes. You know, like you do. You always open to your wife. You always open to your mother-in-law. You always open, keep the door open. You know, because if somebody's older, that's what you're doing, right? Yeah, I saw a deacon. Not this one. Those are perfect. I saw one deacon were walking to the church. I'm looking. He opened the door and pushed and almost killed the wife. I'm like, wow, wow. Because he is a deacon of the church. You know, so he goes first. That's easy. So what is happening? And, uh, and John came to of them. And what, what he says in his gospel, he saw it and he believed what is happening. You have to remember how they, 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 of course, when we go to the funeral home, what we see, we see people dressed with the makeup. Sometimes they look better than they were alive, you know, you know, when you go to wake her. What, what the Jewish people were doing, you know, they will clean the body, they wash the body, and they would put the uh, um, perfumes and stuff because you don't have to, there was a different, and they would use, they like bandage, and they would put, you know, and they would, they would tie the body. So, and, and of course, there was a different uh, a piece of material who would put in the, in the, in the face. For the people who, have, who were more, more rich, or, you know, that material was very expensive. So somebody put in Jesus' face when he covered him. Sometimes when you see John Paul II, when, they were, when he died, you know, um, Cardinal Jimmy was putting you know, that, that over his face. You know? So that's, that's how there was a tradition, a Jewish tradition. So what happened is when they saw it, that material, John, when John saw it, he believed what happened. That material was untouched. It just like that body vibe. So there was, there was no, like see, somebody stole the body, somebody took it. You, you don't take the body and, and, and there's no way. You know? And he saw the material from his face was rolled. They're saying in a, <clears throat> If you go to the very, very expensive restaurant, there is some um, uh, techniques when how you put the, your, 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 your spoon, you know, sometimes you go and there's so many spoons, like what the heck, how am I going to use it? The spoon this way, fork this way, this way, you know, have you ever seen it? Probably some movies. But they give you napkin, you know, so they put you napkin. So when you go to the bathroom or something, it's the way when you roll the napkins means not yet. I'm coming back. But when you put it, you know, it's a different way when you put it, it means you're done. So you don't even have to take, I can't take me. Because he looks how the napkin is for it, and they will take the, the stuff you've done. Jesus rolled that, that, that piece of material the way it says, I'm not done. And that's what it is. When John saw it, now he just have to meet him. And they will. They will meet him. He's going to be unrecognized, he's going to walk through the wall, 
the two apostles are going to walk for him miles and will not recognize him. That's who he is. He's the resurrected. And that's why they had a contact with him and talk, they eat with him. There is no way that evil can put a poison in there. They're going to die because they know that that's what he said is true. So I'm saying to myself, and that's what I wish, that we will see it and he will believe it. What's going to happen? I don't know. Maybe it's going to be 2024. Maybe it's going to be 34. Maybe going to be uh, 100 something. You know, I don't know. God has a way to believe. He's going to change our heart. Right now, that stone is still covering the heart. Could be fear, could be your money, could be your power. Sometimes you think like, no, yeah, it's just like, I go once in a while, you know, for security, you know, like, uh, sometimes they will send us, you know, uh, update your insurance, you know, how often you use insurance, you know, but it's good to have it. So we've been baptized, yeah, for, you know, like, we, it's just like, you know when you're nervous when police stop you, show me your card, like, what, what, where is this one? Just what I, I remember, that's the kind of thing. So we were baptized, we go to confession, we receive Jesus, the body of Christ, amen, forever, you know. We go back and, you know, we do the same, we do the same. Sometimes we've been shaken when somebody who's supposed to die, not, it's dead. Are we saying, no, Alex, he's another side. He's with the resurrected Lord. I don't have to be worried because Jesus came back from the cemetery. So I don't have to be worried because he died for me. So I don't have to be afraid of dying. Who want to die? Who want to go to heaven? Everyone. But how are you going to go to heaven if you don't die? What's going to happen to the money would you? I never see in a funeral you who truck follow. I never see that there's some drawer in the coven. I never see it. Things would you give away? Things would you help? The good words, the phone calls. That's what he wants us. He wants us to be witness. That's what he was saying. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. When are you going to get it? Not yet. I will. Why? Because evil doesn't want us. Evil is so sad today. That was yesterday, Friday. He lost. Remember when was the last drop in the, in the Passion of Cross? When the last drop was going and hit? It was shaking in the, in the world. And he was screaming because he lost. He was still hoping. Calm down and I believe you. He says, you cannot do this. You can, one man cannot do this. Oh, guess what, Mr. Evil? Our Lord is resurrected. And with his help, I can push not only this little stone, but much more. I can offer up everything what I'm going through. My sickness, my worries, the one who just passed away, the one that worries about the children, the worried about those who lost their faith, the, the world who is going, I don't know where it's going. You know, everything what they push us for. I would say, with you, I can do it. Without you, I'm just misery. So may this resurrected day it's this special day, not only be, we're going to be extended. This day is going to be, the, there'll be the resurrection we get tomorrow and after tomorrow for, for all eight days. We're going to say, if he's risen today, he's risen today. That's what I want you. Don't be worried what happened. The past doesn't belong to you. Don't you worry about the future. It's not yet your today. That's what I want you. Be happy today. Don't be worried about tomorrow. So that's what I'm here. I'm telling you, take it as it is. The worries, forget it. And that's what it, offer it up. 
so he can be risen in your life, in your heart. That's what is my wish, that today you will get it, that hitting the door, you will bring the joy. You remember, the happy people usually don't forget to inform the face, because when you are coming from the church and you're going like this, means you forgot, you are happy, but you forgot to inform your face. So make sure that wherever you go, you're gonna try it, at least try it, try it. I know, when you are alive like this, that muscle don't work. Start practicing. Our faith is a faith, joyful faith. God is love. You remember when you were in love? Mom says, well, what happened to you? Nothing, what happened? Nothing. You, you have a crush on somebody, no. You couldn't stop laughing because you were laughing, you were happy. Remember this? What happened? I got married. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know there are some very <coughs> happy married people, but, but uh, sorry for that joke. <laughs> so you, you have to practice. That's what we have to practice our day. That's what we have to bring Jesus, who is a light in our life. That's what I'm, I'm cannot, I don't have to be worried. Why not have to be worried? Because Jesus Christ is risen today. <clears throat> Happy Easter to all of you. Jesus, I trust in you. Please rise. My brothers and sisters, through the Pascal mystery, we have been buried with Christ in Baptist so that we may walk with him in the newness of life. And so now, our Latin observance is concluded. Let us renew the promises of Holy Baptist by which we at once we announce Satan and his works and promise to serve God in his holy Catholic Church. So I ask you, do you renounce Satan? I do. And all his works. I do. And all his empty promises. I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth? I do. I do. do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of Virgin Mary, suffered death, who was buried, rose again from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? I, I do. do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I, I do. do. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by the water and the Holy Spirit, bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by His grace in Jesus Christ our Lord for eternal life. Amen? Amen. Amen. In glorious day, we look on one with the power who raised the dead, asking the God's kindness and mercy upon those who are in need. For the whole church, reborn in the risen Lord, that we may continually bear witness to the effect of the resurrection on our lives, giving us and the world joy, hope, and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the resurrection of our Lord may bring comfort to those who suffer, hope to those in despair, and new life to all those who are dying. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, that they will know the healing power of the risen Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that they will rejoice in the reward of everlasting life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those we remember in a special way in our masses, both living and deceased, may they be blessed, especially the parishioners of St. Laboyas and Peggy Rosenfeld. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For uh, members of our families, for our friends, for those we're going to meet this afternoon, for those we are excited, and for those we are not, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray the intentions of the Reagan family. God bless them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For victims of clergy abuse, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all intentions, we are keeping the silent of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the life and love, you raise your son, 
from the grave. Give us hope and meaning of our lives to save. And grant them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Be seated and be super generous. <laughs> Christ our Lord. 
Amen. May the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Though the times to acclaim you, O Lord, on this day above all, to love you more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for he is a true lamb was taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with the Paschal joy, every land, every people, exalt your praise, and even heavenly powers with the angelic host, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Sacred Commandment for my divine teaching, we learn to pray our Father, who art in heaven.
the body of Christ. Hymn, number 822, I am the bread of life. The body of
Join us in hymn number 462, Hallelujah number one, number 462. Second drink. 
<laughs> Ready for a blessing? We'll deal with the blessing and keep it. May the Lord be with you. And with your hands for a God blessing. Almighty God bless you through today, Easter solemnity, and East confession defend you from every assault of sin. Amen? Amen. Amen. And may he who restore you to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten son, he do you with the price of immortality. Amen? Amen. Amen. Now that the days of Lord's Passion have drawn too close, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast come with the Christ's help to insult you with the Spirit, and those past feasts will be celebrated with eternal joy. Amen? Amen. Amen. Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Go in peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God.